<laughs> hey guys, it's Jay from London. Welcome back, everybody. Hope everyone is doing well. I'm doing amazing. Uh, so, this is Jay. Uh, so, my name is Ram. We do in English. Uh, hi, my name is Ram. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jiho's friend. So, uh, just introduce yourself to them for me. Uh, like I said, I'm Jiho's friend. I work at a bank, very boring stuff, nothing special. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for that. So, is there anything you wanted to know about perfumes? Um, I've actually watched quite a few of your videos as well. And um, I remember you mentioning notes, like top notes, middle notes. I wasn't really sure what about men. Also, the note pyramid. I, I think so, I assume uh, so. So, basically, today I wanted to talk about what the top middle and bass note is because a lot of people don't actually know about it so i'll be explaining what a note pyramid actually is today and that's what i'll be talking about so uh, i saw this video of joe malone uh, simplifying the note pyramid and i thought it was a great explanation mm. so let's get started <laughs> so we have the top middle and bass so this is what uh, Joe Malone said. So top note is the introduction of the date. So my date being a perfume. So say he's the perfume and I'm on a date. So then you start talking to them and you start finding them interesting. Mm -hmm. So say I'm like, oh, hey, I'm Jay. I do media marketing. I used to do fine art painting. Uh, what do you do? Uh, I do this and that. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, so I start finding interesting. Then I would like to know a little bit more about them because they're so interesting. And that's what you call the middle note, the heart of the fragrance. And then if you're still interested in the fragrance, the conversation will continue. So we'll keep talking, we'll vibe with each other. But then the last question is, do you want to go have dinner? And that's the key. You have to wait till the base note right at the bottom. But it's that point that you will decide whether or not you'll buy that fragrance mm. so it's basically me going oh do you want to get dinner that means i want to actually start going on dates with this person so that's what it is so it's kind of like the different stages of getting to know a fragrance yeah ah, so okay. it's kind of like a date so that's what joe malone said and i think it's a great explanation mm. so guys make sure you spray it on your skin and so basically <laughs> <laughs> so basically if I summarize it it's the introduction conversation and do you want to go to dinner mm. and then it becomes a fragrance for you mm. so it's basically like whether you start actually getting into a relationship with them and mm. that's what it is mm. so, so but you know I think it's a, don't you think it's such a simple explanation that anyone will understand right no I think it makes it easier to understand yeah. for sure mm. so in perfumery, fragrances are often described in terms of their notes, uh, which refer to the different layers or stages that can be perceived when the fragrance is applied and de develops over time. So these notes are classified into three main categories. So top notes, mm -hmm. middle notes, which is also known as the heart notes, and base note. So together, they create the overall scent profile of the perfume. Mm -hmm. So I'll start off with the top notes. So these are the initial scents that you smell immediately after applying the perfume. Oh, great coffee. <laughs> and they are the lightest and the most volatile components of the fragrance. So meaning they evaporate relatively quickly. Mm. And top notes create the first impression, like I said before, and typically last for about 15 minutes to an hour. And the common notes include uh, citrus fruits, like lemon, bergamot, and grapefruit, fresh herbs, and light floral scents. Mm. So next will be the middle notes, the heart notes. So after the top notes, <laughs> sorry, <keep laughs> no, sorry. So after the top notes have evaporated, uh, the middle notes emerge as the main body of the fragrance. That's why you call it the heart notes as well. Mm. And these scents are more robust and develop after the initial application. And middle notes become noticeable after about 30 minutes to an hour and can last for several hours. And they provide the character and personality of the perfume. And common middle uh, notes include floral scents like rose, jasmine, 
and lavender, which is really aromatic, and mm -hmm. fruity aromas and spices. Mm. And finally, the base note. And this is where it's important. So the base notes are the foundation of the fragrance, providing depth and longevity. So they emerge as the middle notes start to fade and can last for several hours or even days. And the base notes are usually rich, heavy and lingering and they, often, they are often made up of substances that evaporate very slowly. So common base notes will include a woody scents which is quite heavy like sandalwood, cedarwood, musk, vanilla and other warm resinous elements. Mm -hmm. So the combination and interaction of these three sets of notes create the complex and evolving scent experiences of a perfume. As the top, middle, top and middle notes uh, fade, the base notes uh, persist and contribute to the lingering scent on the skin. Mm -hmm. And the balanced interplay of these notes is essential in creating a well-crafted and harmonious fragrance. Mm. So that's what the uh, fragrance note pyramid is. And any questions? Uh, what do you think has the longest, the biggest impact or impression on a person when you smell the notes? So mostly, uh, the biggest impression will obviously be uh, the dry down. Because mm -hmm. when you see someone, you don't smell the top notes. Mm. Like you won't really know the opening. Right. But if you, when you buy a scent, obviously you'll first spray it and you'll have to like the opening. But why... I always recommend people is sometimes the top notes a lot of people won't enjoy mm -hmm. but if you see in the was it a uh, fragrance what do you call them world mm -hmm. they there are many people who don't like the top note but they change their mind because of the dry down which right. is around the base note mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and obviously that's why I say on the test trip, there's no real point. It's just about, oh, you're just kind of, that's a first impression of, oh, do I want to smell it more? Mm -hmm. Like I mm. said, do you want to get to know that person and I guess because it doesn't last very yeah. long. So what I recommend it is mm. that if you're going to test out a perfume, spray it on your skin. You could try it on the test trip first, then decide, spray it on your skin, walk around. If you look at my perfume shopping guide, just go to those uh, places and spray it on your skin walk around have a nice walk around and see if you enjoy the dry down mm -hmm. and make sure you enjoy the dry down because that's going to be on you for quite a while like mm -hmm. I said mm -hmm. so make sure you spray it on your skin and I will be talking about this more on the next video mm -hmm. with Ram Sounds so good. thank you for watching this and I hope uh, this helped you know more about the notes pyramid so I think I think I understood now. Think it makes a lot more sense to me. Thank you for the explanation. Yes, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you on the next video. So thank you so much. This was Jay from London. This is Ram, and this was Chelsea Sense. Chelsea Sense. Thank you. Thank you.